my friend, welcome. I have a bins haul today. I love going to the Goodwill outlet. It's where you pay by the pound. I got 92 pounds of clothes and a couple purses, no shoes, no plush, <laughs> no stuffed animals came home with me today, which is good. And I got to go with my friend and my oldest daughter. Neither of them had ever been. We were there for about three hours, I think. And like I said, 92 pounds of items. I will take pictures of these and I will sell them on eBay. Well, I'll try to sell them. Hopefully they'll sell. Uh, as we go along, I will, three things real fast. One, this is 92 pounds. It's going to take a while. So maybe wash some dishes, fold some laundry, take some pictures if you're a reseller and uh, you know, buckle or just get a little snack and a drink and watch along. That would be fine too. However you want to do it is fine with me. Secondly, I will probably not edit out all my ums. I won't over edit. If my kids interrupt me, I'll probably edit that out. But also I will try to do comps along the way. I probably won't do too many just because then I have to edit a bunch. Anyway, here we go. This is a vintage. I'm almost positive it's vintage. But this is Bobby B is the brand. And this is like a very cottage core prairie kind of style dress. And it just has this little kind of micro, not really micro, but a smaller floral print on it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it has kind of like a crinkle feel to it. Um, that probably has a, a word, has a name, but I don't know what it is. It ties in the back, it zips in the back. It's probably like a midi length dress. I think it's really cute. I actually, it's not really my style, but I kind of want to try and wear it <laughs> just one time, just to see. I really like shopping at the bins because you just come up with like all sorts of random things. This is Latched Mama. And what this is, is a nursing hoodie. It's a hoodie. Uh, so it has like a flap here on the top that you pull up when you're a nursing mom. And then you can nurse your baby and not, you know, be... It's kind of a modest way of, of doing that without covering... Co oh man. I won't go into that, but I am a, a birth and postpartum doula by trade, and so I love finding things that help new moms or pregnant moms. My kids are playing. That's just my life if you hear them. Uh, J. Jill is not wanting to show up. It's J. Jill, I promise. There it, there it is. J. Jill, this is a corduroy long sleeve shirt dress. It buttons all the way down. And it's just like a really light corduroy, um, like a burgundy color. So long sleeve, very, probably not modern at all. It's probably an older style, <laughs> um, but it just reminds me of fall. Um, let's see. Oh, this is just a flannel that I actually bought for my daughter. <laughs> she is wanting the flannels. This uh, was interesting. This is a brand called, where is it? There's a brand on it. A key. It says AQ. It's real light. It's like a silver on there. It's AQUIS. And it is like a microfiber towel. And it's just like a head wrap size. So I did comp this in the Goodwill outlet. And the seltzer rate was pretty high. And the average sale price was around $12. None were this size, or this color rather. All of them were like white. So, I don't know. I And I, I made sure to do pre-owned because I think that does play into the comps. I am noticing there's like a little, something stuck on it. Like, it looks like wax melted on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? So we'll see. That that could be interesting. This is a loft. And the reason I bought this is I have sold multiple little loft kind of ruffly blouses like this right around $12. 
So I think when I added up my cost of goods, I ended up with like, I think 86 items. I'll know for sure in a little bit and I'll put that on the screen. But um, it was right around a dollar. <laughs> kids are so loud today. A dollar 75 and um, <laughs> I'm so distracted. I'm so sorry. It's all like happy screams. I don't know what's happening. They're fine. They're Oh, that's not happy. We'll see if that works out. Okay, anyway, $1.75 for my average cost of goods. So this, you know, I'm not going to pay $5 for this at a thrift store. However, if I can turn $1.75 into $12, I think that that's a pretty good return on my investment. It's also very lightweight. So when I'm paying by the pound, I didn't actually pay $1.75 for this. I believe the Goodwill outlet that I was at was $1.59 per pound. I found little Build-A-Bear shorts. When I find Build-A-Bear or American Girl doll stuff, I throw them in because I just keep a little pile and then when I get a few things, I'll list them together as a lot. Um, that's my plan anyway. I have a few American Girl doll things, but not Build-A-Bear right now. This is Eileen Fisher. It is extra small and it's just like a basic t-shirt, long sleeve navy t-shirt. It is not made of anything like silk or anything like that. It's a tinsel nylon spandex blend. So it feels really heavy and nice, but it's just very, very basic. So I can't imagine that I will get a lot of money from that or this. I'm just showing you all the exciting things right off the bat. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren and I honestly didn't really intend to bring this home but I did. So again I think maybe $12 or something for this. It's just a little um, petite medium and I think that I thought it was vintage when I first grabbed it out and I don't I mean I don't know that it is kind of a Y2K style, I guess. I might put that in the keywords just to try and sell it faster, but it's kind of just a boring little tank top. I guess that lace detail makes it not boring. Uh, that was a little very basic tank top that I bought for myself. It was actually just like a Walmart brand, which I try to avoid at all costs, but not always. So this just says 100% cotton made in India. It did have a tag on it and it's Rima Beach World. So the reason I got it was because it was new with tags, but also it's this little like dress cover up halter style, very like lightweight gauzy material. It is lined. That's kind of funny. Um, but it does have like little sequin and embroidery detail on the edge there. I thought that was very cute and some smocking here in the middle. Um, the last time I went to the bins, I found two like this and the one that was new with tags sold for like $15. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, well, I've sold something very similar to that. So I can, you know, try it again. This is a Peter Millar uh, Summer Comfort. It's size large. It's just a polo. It is blue and white striped. It does have a spot on the back. Actually, that may have come out already. I thought I was going to have to soak it, but it doesn't look like... I Wait a minute. I found it. It wasn't on the back. It's on the front. So I am going to soak it and see if I can get that to come out. If I can't, I can't. <laughs> anyway, this is a little Vera Bradley bag. I don't, again, I would not pay very much money for Vera Bradley like in a thrift store or something, but for under $2, maybe I can sell this for about $15, but it's very clean on the inside. I just thought it was like a cute little crossbody bag. It, um, and I like the print. Some of the prints are just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I did just recently sell a Vera Bradley purse, but it was vintage and I got it out of the storage unit for completely free. So that was, you know, that's just a little bit different, I guess. 31 is also another brand that I'm not going to pay a lot of money for. However, I have sold some 31 bags. Again, 
very, very clean inside. I'll have to look up the style. The last time I had a 31 bag, I had to call one of my friends who has sold uh, 31 in the past to help me find the style number because, or the style name of it. Because I think people who use 31 know the, the style names and stuff, so they look for them. I think that's my guess. So this is just that little purse. I guess we could probably do a comp on it. Okay, so when I, I did a Google Lens search of this, and so I just took a picture and put it on Google Lens, and it's actually one of those purses that uh, has covers, like you can switch out what purse it is, and I really would not have paid that much attention to it <laughs> to know that that was the case. So that's pretty cool. Um, there were two listed like this with this cover. One was like $25 and one was listed at around $12 and then one was sold for 15. So one divided by three, that's like 33% sell through rate. Um, because I divide how many are sold by the total number that have been listed in the last 90 days. So that's going to be the number of sold plus the number that are listed. That's the way I do sell through rate. People do it differently. I just like to tell you how I do it. So when I say it's like a 33% sell through rate, you know how I did my math. So that's how I did it. All right, I found, okay, so we were, if you've never been to the Goodwill bins, they have huge blue bins, um, like tables, that are just filled with stuff. And we kind of stayed on the clothes side. I wandered all over. They have like, it's the, the one that I go to, there's clothes on one side and then hard goods on the other. So anything that's not clothes, shoes. Anyway, it's, um, I find that the people in the hard goods, they are a little more intense than the people in the clothes. I'm not sure why, but that seems to be the case or has been the case in the past for me. So anyway, they, about every hour, they switch out all the bins and bring new ones. And we were standing at the back during the switch out and I looked over and I saw this little baby blanket that had been like hand embroidered. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's so sad because they're gonna take it to the back and it's gonna go in a dumpster forever. And that just made me very sad. Well, they ended up not switching out that particular bin that it was in and I was like, we gotta go save that. So I don't know that this will sell for much money, but it is quilted and it's just a little baby blanket that has these little sweet, oh, I think they're Care Bears. I think they're Care Bears. Anyway, I think they're cross stitched on. So they have these little umbrellas and I just think they're quite, darling. And I mean, someone, someone did this by hand. Someone spent a lot of time on it for their, you know, grandbaby or niece or nephew, or maybe their child. So it definitely has some wear. I would probably say that this is vintage and handmade. So hopefully someone will want this and, you know, save it from a life in, in a landfill. But I just thought it was really sweet and yeah, I wanted to rescue it. I have a hard time <laughs> at the pins because of this, because part of the reason that I do this is because I am, you know, concerned about our environment and I don't like waste. So anyway, I found a Victoria's Secret bra. I like finding bras at the bins because they don't weigh much. This looks in really decent condition. I always check right around here because they often will discolor from like sweat and stuff. I like to check the um, straps and always the clasps because sometimes the clasps will become kind of mutilated over time. This does have a lot of wear like on the tag. It's actually pink by Victoria's Secret. So um, I got a, quite a few bras actually, actually three or four, I think. This is actually a swimsuit and has this kind of clasp here. And it is an underwire bikini bra. It actually has like an adjustable strap so you can switch it out to be a cross back or I don't know what all the words are. Anyway, I just thought the print was really cute. 
my daughter was kind of at the same bin with me and she pulled this out and I was like, hey, what brand is that? And it is actually Athleta. So, I mean, I don't think it'll be a ton of, worth a ton of money, but I, I think it will sell when the season is right, which obviously is not now. This is another Victoria's Secret pink bra. This one does have a bit more wear, um, but I have used my sweater shaver on this band right here and cleaned cleaned them up pretty nicely. So bras, I really, for a while, I was like, I'm, I'm never gonna sell bras again, but I actually have really liked selling bras. They don't take much for me to store them. They're easy to photograph. They're easy for me to ship. And they, um, they don't weigh much. So they take my cost of goods down really low, which is great, especially you'll see I have quite a few heavier items as well. This is the brand Hoka and it is a bucket hat. The sell through rate I checked in the store was 50%. So there were like two listed, two sold and the two that were sold for like $25. I was like, this is like a pretty basic little bucket hat, but sure. Hoka is like a shoe brand. This is a, an Adidas hat and it does have significant like discoloration on it. So I'm gonna soak it and see if it will clean up. This is a Goodyear racing hat. I didn't get quite as many hats as I normally do, but this is a Tulsa somebody. <laughs> This is UT, Tulsa, it's a fitted hat. I don't know. <laughs> this is a Nike hat that my daughter put in my cart and she was like, that's for me. <laughs> so it's for her. I like, it has this little metal swoosh on the back. I thought that was kind of cool. This is, I don't know. But in the past I have found, I don't know some things and then they sell. It's weird, this says Wendella, Chicago, 1932. Nope, 1935. Anyway, we'll see. I'll do a Google image search and see what comes up. This is um, Indiana University, IU. I went to the Indianapolis bins and so it was not a surprise to me that I found Indiana University stuff and that will not be the last thing. This is, what brand was this? Oh, Alomi. It just sounded like something to me. And it's pretty much brand new, but it is like this very lacy bra. All right, I wanna look it up. All right, so this black lace Alomi bra in a used condition has a 57% sell-through rate. That is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. 26, 17, 17, there were two of them together, 28. 19. Uh, none of these are like the exact style. Um, I'm trying to see if it has a style number on here. I don't know. It does. So, you know, you can always put the style number in too and see if that brings up even more specific um, comps on that. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes I don't. Okay, this is a little chaps sweater vest. I will not resell this on eBay, but because it was brand new with tags, I will put this in my kids consignment sale uh, that comes around twice a year in my area. Unfortunately, I'll have to hold on to that for a while because it's not gonna sell in the spring sale and we just had the fall one. This is another little kids item and it is a little coat and it's, um, says San Francisco there and then it's actually reversible and it has like fleece on the other side and then this really cool embroidery of San Francisco so if something is reversible and you're trying to find the tag check the pockets because they're usually in there so I don't know this brand but oh <laughs> and neither do you now no here it is I don't know that brand, but I just thought, I don't know, it was kind of unique, different. I can imagine, you know, somebody being really excited about San Francisco and wanting to buy their kid a coat. I don't know. We'll see, I am gonna put that on eBay because the likelihood of someone buying that specific thing at my local consignment sale is probably not high. 
This is Carhartt. Unfortunately, the rest of the tag is completely faded. So I don't know the style number. All Carhartt items have style number on the tags. I have been selling quite a lot of Carhartt. You will see that this is has stains on it. Uh, it does have some wear, but I don't, didn't see like any major holes or anything. Um, but it will still sell with stains on it, um, which is kind of strange, but true. So anyway, I do think this is um, a larger size. It's like an extra large, maybe 2X, but I will have to measure that. I measure all my stuff and put it in my listings anyway. So, so my daughter pulled this out and was showing it to my friend and she was making fun of it. And then I was like, give me that. That's awesome. So this is Quacker Factory and it is, this is, oh, I thought it said extra small because I saw it backwards in my screen there. Uh, it is a 2X and it is just a... A white cardigan which white is a little uh, I feel like I have found a lot of white this time too but anyway it has all this beading and it's all Christmas themed so I'm gonna make sure it gets listed right away because huh, while I'm not ready for it Christmas is right around the corner but even like all the buttons are I mean they're not buttons there's no they are buttons like where the buttons are, it's actually like a reverse button, but it has all these little Christmas trees embroidered, or not embroidered, beaded. And I just thought it was really too cool to leave there. And honestly, I think that this will sell. Um, I will be surprised if it doesn't. This, I will be surprised if it does sell. <laughs> um, I just have a hard time leaving North Face and Columbia at at the bins, but it doesn't sell for me. I don't know why, but this is the North Face. It says so somewhere. There's the tag. This is an older, just like fleece hoodie, but I don't know. Maybe one of my daughters will want it. I don't think, I don't know. Maybe my 12 year old will want it, but it's just a woman's small. It's very pilly. I don't know. I actually was thinking I need to go through like my Columbia and my North Face fleece things that I have listed and see if I can get some like like sizes together and put them in lots because they just aren't selling. This is a very cool jacket and it is all twisted. Oh goodness. How did we do this? I washed everything so that's how it happened <laughs> it got all twisted in the wash here we go let me snap this hood snaps off it is like in such good condition and it's just like a heavyweight jacket um, but it is Carhartt and unfortunately it actually has some embroidery on it so I have seen where you can take the embroidery off of things. I don't know that I want to spend the time to do that, but this was just a really nice jacket. I kind of think that it might sell even with the embroidery. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, you know, maybe less than what I would sell it for if it, you know, didn't have the embroidery, but we'll try. Okay, this was the very last thing that I found. My friend and my daughter were both, you know, when they're new at it and they weren't doing it for their job. <laughs> so they were, after a couple hours, they were both like, okay, we're done. It gets a little like intense in there sometimes. There's just a lot of people, a lot of noise. The music was really loud. It's just a little overwhelming. And so I think they were both just kind of done. And I was like, okay, can I just do just like 10 more minutes? And I was like, I'll just go up one down, one row and down another and I'll just be done. And I was on the way, I was like, oh, please let this be worth it. And I found a pair of Ar Carhartt overalls that I think I can list for about $70. So these are very cool and not stained and trashed like the other ones, which is insane. So let's, we'll do the comps. I'll show you. So let's see, hopefully I'm right about the $70. 
maybe I'm wrong. So I'm just going to search on my eBay app. I'm just going to search Carhartt and then the tag has the style number right there along with the size. Sorry, there's the style number and then there's the size. So this is actually quite a bit of a large size. It's 50 by 28. So I'm actually just going to search the RO2 is the style number RO2 and uh, search and then I am going to do condition as pre-owned. I'm not going to do a category but I am going to plug the color in as brown and let's see I can't let's see the problem is with the category there's some listed in specialty like uniforms and there's some listed in men and so sometimes I don't like to narrow down the category like that but unfortunately I also can't that doesn't let me put in the size so let's see I'm gonna hit sold there's 109 listed and 156 sold it's more than a 50 percent sell-through rate which is fantastic and as I'm looking through, um, well, that, oh man, that one sold for 20. That's not good. But $59, $49, $99, a uh, best offer of 40 off of 40, 25. So if it has a line through it, it means that a best offer was taken. So I don't know if it sold for $20 or $39. I just, I, I have no way of knowing that. Here's one, those are black, but they sold for $76. Here's another one for 50, or I'm sorry, 60 is $59.99, another for $44.99. So with these being a larger size and in really good condition, I will probably list them around 70, maybe even $75 and see what happens. Of course I'll be, I'm always willing to take <laughs> offers as long as they're pretty reasonable, but I am pretty excited about these. This is, oh goodness, this must be my Carhartt section here. Another Carhartt, this is a hoodie and this one is like Sherpa lined and super cozy feeling, very, very thick. Um, it's a size large, I feel like I already showed you that. And this one thankfully does have the style number and all of that in there. So. This is, you know, just like a zip up hoodie Carhartt. So I'm really excited about all the Carhartt. This is not Carhartt. <laughs> this is London Fog and it is a very heavy like fleece jacket I'm going to use for sure. It is actually lined um, like a jacket and has um, some pockets on the outside, but it is fleece and it's a size large. It's a very, very cool. I love that like green and blue plaid. That plaid has a name, but I can't think of what it is. So this I comped at the, at the bins and there were actually two of them and I should have, there was actually a lot of this kind of, I should show you, hold on. So it is a jacket and it's like, I don't know, waterproof kind of. Uh, it has a hood. I can feel it has a hood in there. And then this says Indiana Department of Correction. So I comped this and there was nothing listed. But when I hit sold, there was actually a sold comp exactly like this for $75. A used one. So this is like a weird pocket in there. Okay. Anyway, I thought it was very cool. There was a ton of like this Indiana Corrections um, stuff, but I just, I don't know. It, it feels very specific. You know, there's only a few people looking for that in that specific size. So I just got the one jacket. I, there was another jacket exactly like that, but by the time I had found that one and decided to comp it, I couldn't remember where I saw the other one. And so I didn't go grab it. Maybe I should have, but I didn't. This is back rack. And this was really a nice men's store in like the 2000s, 90s, 2000s. I don't know if it's still around. It might still be, but uh, this is just a jacket. It's kind of like, it has like a suede feel to it, like a micro 
something or other. It is made in Korea, which makes me think that it is vintage. It has a cell phone pocket. You can tell because it says right there. That's funny to me. Uh, that also makes me think that it's, you know, like from the 90s. There is no material tag in this, which is frustrating to me because, no, oh, wait, 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 I found it. It's polyester and acetate. All right. Well, I don't know what this is called, but it's just like a, I wonder if it's like a micro fleece or not micro fleece, microfiber. I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> These are Talbot's Flawless. They are a high rise, barely boot. I don't know. <laughs> I buy Talbot's. Sometimes it sells. Sometimes it doesn't, which is always a bummer. These are Banana Republic. These are pretty low rise and like a little bit of a flare. So I thought that that was a good style. Oh boy. 2012. These are a six too. They're pretty small. 2012. That doesn't feel promising. <laughs> These are from Buckle and I know BKE jeans have sold. Have they sold for me? I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, these are from the buckle. They're pretty well used, but they have some bling on the butt and a little bit of distressing. These are very distressed on the bottom. I kind of think they're purposefully done that way, but these are also kind of stuff on the bum. This is also salvage and it's for the buckle. So... I don't know. That was probably a mistake, but <laughs> I bought a pair of overalls. These are actually short alls, uh, so they are not, you know, a full pant. These are distressed. In the summer, I had, I sold all the short alls, I think, that I have. These are Tricot. I don't know that brand at all, so but I just thought they, you know, with my experience of selling overalls and short alls, I pretty much, when I can get them for really cheap like that, I'm going to buy, buy them. These are a pair of Carhartt jeans and they're pretty old, but they're just a car, uh, carpenter style, light, kind of a loose fit, and they're a larger size, although again, the um, tag is really faded, so I can't see what the size is or where they're made or anything like that, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, jeans I can just measure, and that says the size, which is nice, especially when they're a men's jean like that. These, I went from very large jeans to very tiny jeans. But these are can-can, and they are just some distressed skinnies with a raw hem. They won't sell for much, probably but can can I have sold in the past, which is good. This is cool, I think. So I'm pretty sure that this is vintage and it is Abercrombie and Fitch, which is, I don't know, okay. But I just really like the pattern of the knit on this and it's just kind of perfect for a nice cozy winter sweater. It is Ramy and Cotton. So not wool, but I have had someone contact me and say like, you know, I'm glad you had this that's not wool because I'm allergic to wool. So that was really nice. What's interesting is I feel like in the past I've found cashmere at the bins, but I didn't find any cashmere this time. But I did find vintage Oshkosh overalls. These are little short overalls and unfortunately they are not made in the US, but they are vintage, but they were made in... Honduras so I don't know I just think with that pattern maybe they'll still sell maybe not for as much as I really want them to sell but we will see and then this is a swim top it has like this cross over and this little buckle detail I felt like I saw some like discoloration when I was doing my laundry but now yeah can see it kind of there maybe it's hard to see but in the light I could see it 
which is kind of a bummer, but I don't know. I may still try and list it, but this is Swim by Kasik. Kasik is Lane Bryant's um, Intimates line, so I buy Kasik bras when I find them. Um, so I thought a swim top would be just as good. Unfortunately, I did not see that. Um, it kind of just seems like it's sun faded, you know, in the back. It's hard to tell in all the light. So we'll see. I don't know. It may have been a mistake to buy that. This is a vintage sweater. It is St. Michael it is the brand. I don't know what that is, but it is, let's see, this was made in Canada, but it is a, I'm going to use shacket also on this, um, but it is also, it's a like a cardigan sweater and it has like that teal green kind of print on it. There are a few little holes in it, but honestly, I don't, I don't know that that's going to be a deal breaker with this. I might not get as much money if it was like in pristine condition, but we'll see. This does have a lining in it, which is interesting, and pockets, which is also good. So I will use jacket, cardigan, and shacket with this as I list it, but I don't know. What would you call it? I found some Gryffindor socks that I thought my kids would like. But they were both like, we're not in Gryffindor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just know you like Harry Potter. Uh, the other sock is in here somewhere. I don't know where it is in this pile of mess. But, oh, this was cool. This is, I don't know how you say this. Huck? Hook? Huck? That's how I would say it. It's a fishing brand. And it's just like this performance. Uh, it's like that performance feel. You know, like a Nike dry fit. Uh, but camo sleeves, just a, like a raglan shirt. And the comps were good on this. The sell-through rate was over 50%, and the average sale price was like $12. But again, I'm, you know, paying not very much money for that. So I'm happy to make $12 on my $1.75 investment. This I bought for one of my daughters for Christmas. Don't know if she'll wear it or not. Who knows? Oh, hey, there's that other sock. And then these are Columbia. Again, Columbia, I don't know. Sometimes it sells good for me and sometimes it doesn't. But these are titanium. I don't know what that means. But they are the zip-off pants. So they zip off into shorts, which is really great if you're like, a backpacker hiker type person so that's why I got those they're also in a larger size I was on I was keeping my eye out for a quilt because I've had three quilts before and they've all sold really fast for good money um, and this was the only one I found it's okay but it's little it's like a little lap quilt but I still think it's beautiful it's handmade obviously and I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. And again, I like to save things from the landfill. So I don't know that that should be my motivation. I am trying to make some money <laughs> off of these things. Sometimes I just can't help it. Like again with this Columbia, but this one is a larger size. Actually, it looks like it's, I don't know, it looks funny on the back. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, I think I'll give that a soak and see what happens. This is an American Eagle. Just like a, it's not really denim, it's more like a canvas feel. A black jean jacket kind of style. I just thought it was really cool and believe it or not, American Eagle sells well for me in a lot of areas. So jeans, obviously. Jacket's a little more of a, you know, bigger piece. This is not something that will sell for much, but Victoria's Secret clothes and like sleepwear sell, again, probably, you know, $12 or something on that. So actually, my friend gave that to me, and after I 
like realized what she was doing, <laughs> I thought, I don't know if she really me meant to give that to me. I think she was looking for my advice, like if she should resell it or not. So let me know if I should give that back to you because I'm happy to. Uh, these are Tupperware plastic cups. Uh, like I said, I did not go over into like the hard goods. These were just stuck in the in with the clothes and I don't know Tupperware I guess sells and this just seems like a weird thing for me to to have to sell but sometimes I do that because something just sticks out at me this is another jacket and this is New Balance which is like an athletic brand uh, now my dog's gonna bark again this is just really um it's just a nice weight it's uh I don't know, I just thought it was really nice. And I'm seeing that it has a hole in it. Oh my goodness. I did not see that when I bought it. Well, hmm, I'll have to decide, decide what to do with that. Sometimes I go ahead and list things that I find have a flaw when I, um, when I get them home. Sometimes if the sell-through rate is terrible or I'm only gonna make $10 on it or something anyway, I just won't waste my time and I'll just go ahead and donate it or I have like a huge batch of stuff um, that I'm I've heard that H&M will take clothes like on as a recycling program um, but I don't really live near an H&M so I just have like a huge garbage bag full of stuff that I found stains that just like are too much that I would warrant sending back to a thrift store so this is a really cute little dress with this floral detail on the bottom so it's just I don't know like a, what would you call that it's not really a line shift or sheath I forget which one's which uh, this is loft and it does have the little dots under it which means it's dot uh, it's loft factory which is less you know it didn't cost as much originally retail uh, so it might not be worth as much uh, reselling it but that's okay and again with this North Face. I think we might be done with the North Face and the Columbia, but we'll see this again. Just a very basic fleece jacket. Pretty boring, actually. But for some reason, I feel like I have to save it. This again is loft, and unfortunately that is a different size than the other dress because they're very similar in style. Um, but that one, it just has that cute little kind of geometric pattern on it. Um, if they were the same size, I may have lotted them together just to see if they would sell better. But unfortunately, they're not the same size, which was kind of a bummer. <laughs> it's okay. These are pretty cool. I like to sell uh, scrubs if I can. And I found some IU. IU Med Center is kind of huge around here. So I found some IU branded scrubs and other than like the tag um, print is faded pretty well, they're in really good condition. So I found two tops that are the same size and a, pant, a pair of pants. So I think I'm just gonna lot these up together um, as a group and hopefully sell them for, I don't know, maybe 25 or $30. We'll see if that works out. I'm not really sure. So I think that this is a vintage uh, flannel, again, jacket. Uh, it's kind of a shirt jacket style. There's no pockets on this one, unfortunately, but there is blanket stitching, which I will make sure I add. And then it also has these really cool buttons that look like they are like woven kind of. So anyway, it has shoulder pads, which is something that <laughs> indicates it might be vintage to me. The brand is Willow Ridge, but the tag is made out of paper and uh, it's really worn or you could like, you can like hear that it's like crispy paper. And this is made in the USA. Now, not everything that's made in the USA, it doesn't automatically mean it's vintage. There are still things made in the USA today, which is good. We want there to be. Um, but that combined with like the shoulder pads, kind of the style of it and the paper tag make me think that it is vintage. This I also believe is vintage for the same reason. Um, 
made in the USA paper tag. This is Levi's, but can you tell they're not jeans? These are just um, dress pants. Very basic, boring, brown <laughs> dress pants. I don't know that they will sell for a lot of money. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, count these. Okay, so if I search women's dress pants in Levi's Vintage, they there were seven listed and five sold. That's a 42% sell-through rate, so that's decent. And then they sold, let's see, there's a pair for $40 and 35. That's a best offer of 22. Oh my. Okay, this uh, says $372. I'm not, I wonder if you can see that. $372. Doesn't that look exactly like the pair of pants I have? This does say tummy control panels, which I don't think mine have. Um, and then $13, $14. Um, certainly, mine are not worth $372. I will keep you posted. If they are, I will uh, let you know in a future video when and how much these sold. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that already. But holy smokes, that would be amazing. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to sell them. I'll probably list them around $40 depending on what the others are listed for anyway these are American Eagle I did I did comp these in the store because some American Eagle um, I don't know some of my American Eagle jeans are just kind of sitting so these are original straight they just look like they're in really good condition I mean they're obviously used but there's no major like stains or rips you know I mean some distressing I'm not worried about but sometimes they're just like weird <laughs> distressing but the sell-through rate was good I don't remember what it was and I also don't remember exactly what the average sale price was it wasn't much but I think it was around $20 so that's not like my goal you know I, I want to make more than $20 but at the same time I feel like that's a good return on my investment this is free people I was really excited about it <laughs> Uh, so it's like a little ribbed sweater and it has kind of this, I don't know, hem, but do you see that right there? That is like bleach stain, which I'm really bummed about, but look how cool those little sleeves are. So I just, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that thing, but I was real bummed that I didn't notice that in the store, but I didn't. This is Tahari and it is linen which is why I got it. And it is like this little hooded cardigan. Is it open? Yeah, it's just like an open front cardigan in this like kind of teal color. It's a three quarter length sleeve. Actually, I think my daughter wants this, um, but I will, she'll, you know, she'll wear it like two or three times and then decide she's over it. This little skirt I thought was super cute and might be perfect for someone's like, I don't know, holiday pictures. I guess those are, I don't know, it's a sweater skirt, but those are flowers. I guess I was thinking they were snowflakes, but anyway, the brand is, where'd it go? I lost the brand, there it is. Wait a minute, goodness, here we go. Hannah Anderson, uh, which is a brand I always liked dressing my kids in, and some Hannah Anderson items will sell well, and sometimes they won't, and um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know enough about it to tell you what is what. So these are tiny little Adidas running shorts. And um, unfortunately, I think, I thought this was just like a drawstring that was tied really tight, but I think it's actually like the elastic that they is busted out. So I don't know. I might just like take it out and just say there's no drawstring in this. But what I do is I hang on to all these tiny little, uh, running shorts and I lot them up together. So when I find another pair in the same brand and the same size, then I will just, I will lot them together and sell them for 20 or $15. That has worked well for me in the past. Um, I'm trying to find a size. There's no size, but you know, if I have another pair that are this, I mean, these are tiny, they're like gotta be a small probably. So We'll see. <laughs> I don't count those in my like cost of goods 
um, I'll just hang on to them until I find something that matches. I saw this uh, sports bra, and I don't know this brand. I don't think that it's worth a whole lot of money. Like, it's not something, it's not like Aloe Yoga or Gymshark or anything, you know, super fancy like that. Ooh, this does have a lot of pilling on it. It was inside out, and I didn't notice that. But I grabbed it because I found another one <laughs> that was exactly the same size and same style. So again, I will lot these together and sell them together, hopefully. And I'll just take my sweater shaver to that and see if that pilling will come off. These are Under Armour pants. I'm not sure what it is about like Under Armour and Nike and Adidas, but their pants have sold well for me. I don't sell their sweatshirts or shirts or anything like that well, um, but the, the pants have sold well. This zipper is sticky. Oh well, I'll just note that. I don't think anybody cares too terribly about sticky zippers. Maybe they do. This is a, where'd it go? like a halo sleep sack and I don't really think that I intended on buying it because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that the market is kind of probably saturated with these it is in really good condition so I might look it up and see if it's worth selling uh, if not I'll just stick it in my consignment sale for a few bucks and see what happens Actually, I just looked it up and it looks like the Halo Sleep Sack swaddle with a swaddle like this where it um, you can swaddle the baby it has about a 50% sell through rate with um, the average sale price around $10. So I'll probably go ahead and list that. Oh, that was for my daughter and not really interesting enough to show you. Uh, this is a pretty cool... Adidas jacket. I just told you Adidas jackets don't really sell, but or haven't for me anyway. But this is an IU like pullover jacket. I just thought it was cool and really in good condition. So we'll see how that does. This I found kind of at the last minute, and this is an Orvis um, sweater. Orvis has sold well for me in the past. So that is a brand that I will grab if if I see it and then this is loft again loft okay so I like loft J Jill Chico's Talbot's White House Black Market I will buy at the bins those um, brands of items because I've had especially if it's like interesting or fun I you know they'll sell this little this is a little um, like cotton I don't even think it's cotton actually I think it might be polyester or acrylic um, no, it is cotton. Um, so it's just like a little cardigan and obviously it's like an extra small or something extra small, small. Um, but I just really liked the roses on there and Jack and Ryan, like Jack Valentine, his channel, they've been saying roses are in. Um, I feel like I heard that somewhere else too. So I was like, you know, it'll probably sell for like $20 maybe. This is Cabela's and it was something that I had intended on comping and then didn't, but this is an extra large and it is like a, I don't know what you call that. I mean, it's a vest for like hunting. Um, in fact, I think these are meant for like ammo. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. So there's all sorts of like zippers and pockets on this thing. Uh, so I think it's kind of cool and I don't know we'll see it's like vented on the back actually like this whole thing like zips off it's not in like perfect condition but I think you know coming off of all that hunting stuff from the storage unit that I got I just have like hunting on the brain I guess plus it's that time of year this is like a little kid's cape poncho type thing I I don't know it's jimbery a size seven eight I, I don't know <laughs> then I have another probably uh, vintage maybe not vintage but it's like a flannel flannel shirt I was really looking for flannels 
and jackets and sweaters. Um, you know, just the time of year. <laughs> and so this is Chico's Designs. This is a vintage label for Chico's. This is a sweater cardigan, and I just thought it was really colorful and fun, and I sell vintage sweaters a lot, which is great. <laughs> um, this I found, and it's just like a little vintage dress, and I was like, oh, that reminds me of Raggedy Ann, and sure enough, in the tag, it says um, Raggedy Ann licensed by Raggedy Ann and Andy associated characters are trademarks of Simon and Schuster. So you didn't really want to know all that, but just a little vintage Raggedy Ann dress slash costume. There were a ton, a ton of costumes in the bins, which makes sense. It was like a week and a half after Halloween. So this is, I thought it was a pillowcase, but it's not. Yes, it is. It is a pillowcase. It has like a zipper uh, to put your pillow in. So it is like a micro fleece on one side and then kind of this uh, Sherpa on the other. It looks like it's in really good condition and it is Kookaburro by Ugg. So I don't know, it's just really soft and fuzzy and I didn't want to leave it there. I don't know how that'll sell. Let's look. Okay, it's a 50% sell-through rate. Um, the ones listed are like 20 bucks a piece. Uh, the ones sold, uh, the ones sold are kind of strange. Like one was sold for a best offer of 23, but there are two of them. One sold for $4.75, that's not ideal. And then another set, I think it looks like two for $18.99. So, I, you know, maybe I'll try it at 20 and see what happens these are banana republic that's actually another one of those brands that i will almost always pick up at the bins these are also linen and cotton blend shorts which i sold a ton of in the spring and summer this is cc cnc california which i sold one item um that brand but it was a linen shirt and this is 100% cotton but it's like this muslin kind of gauzy muslin feel but it's like a little layered ruffle skirt I have no idea I maybe $15 if I'm lucky this is a really cool looking vintage sweater I don't know this kind of stuff just sells for me I guess these rings are actually like plastic rings sewn on and then there's like kind of 3d dots not like a swiss dot but like a knitted on dot on that i don't know it's very cool this is pure hand knit cotton and it is a cardigan but i just really it's more teal it looks like it's showing up kind of green on my um it's more of like a green teal but this has like a rope knitted on the outside. I just thought that was really pretty. Um, this is, <laughs> has a cleaner tag on it. Probably should have taken that off. This is 100% wool. Oh boy. This is 100% wool. It's Polo by Ralph Lauren. And it is just this brown sweater. I don't know. Something about those basics like that <laughs> seem to sell. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I picked up two suit coats, like um, sport jackets. I don't know why I can never remember the name, but this is just Banana Republic and it's a standard fit. Trying, it's not like wool or anything. Like I said, I don't know why I did this to myself, but I did. Um, where is the tag? It is a 40 regular and, oh, it does have wool. It is wool. Okay. It's a wool blend. It's like 99% wool. So anyway, just like a wool suit coat, Banana Republic. I don't know if it sells for $25, I'll be happy. And then this is Baccarat, which is that same brand I told you was really like a nicer, higher end, like suit, not higher end, but like. I don't know it was a decent mall brand back in the day 
This is 100% wool. The lining is polyester. So anyway, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to suit coats, but again, just trying to save things from the landfill. This is, I'm pretty sure handmade and it is pretty sure wool, just a little stocking. Again, I thought it was really cute and something that I probably should list pretty quickly. All right, I have some pretty cool vintage stuff here. Oh no! Well, bummer, this is like really ripped. I don't know, maybe some of you would still wanna repair it. This is a completely sequined, blinged out uh, cardigan blazer, but I don't remember, I mean, that's significant. I feel like I would have seen that in the bins, but I didn't, that stinks. Anyway, this is vintage. I thought it was silk too. No, it is not, I don't think. Anyway, it has a tag on it, so it's dead stock, but darn it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'll have to decide. My friend that went with me is actually a really good seamstress, so maybe she can fix it. I don't know. Uh, this is, I don't know if I would get enough money from it. Like, I'm thinking maybe $40. So I don't know if I would get enough money from it to warrant paying someone to fix it, you know what I mean? So this is Neptune Garment com uh, Company, and then it has a thinsulate, thinsulate, like a vest lining in it, but it is just a jacket, kind of a bomber jacket style a little bit, flight jacket kind of. Um, I did comp this, but I don't remember what the comps were, but good enough for me to bring home. This is a silk vintage bomber jacket and it is hooded and it is dead stock. So that's pretty cool. It is like a purple, just basic. I have sold two or three silk vintage bomber jackets in the like $30 range. So in here is another one. This one has like kind of a teal little stripe on there. And I don't know, just, there's something about those. I don't know. <laughs> I remember wanting them when I was like in the fifth grade or something. Um, this is Pendleton. And I was looking for Pendleton because it has sold really well for me. Unfortunately, this is incredibly um, felted and uh, shrunk. This is like a size large, but there's no way it's a size large. <laughs> like that is like a, I don't know. My daughter might want it, it might fit her, and if she wants it, she can have it, but if she doesn't want it, I will probably, um, I don't know exactly what I'll do. It does have the elbow patches, which is more of like a men's thing than a woman's thing. I don't know, I've never seen anything with that's a woman's that has elbow patches. Anyway, I might still list it as a woman's like extra small. See what happens. This is vintage Eddie Bauer. I think it's vintage. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, it is a wool blazer. It's kind of, I don't know, it has a little bit of a, like a Western look to me, in my opinion. And then this is J. Crew Teddy, and I did comp this, and I don't remember, but it was good enough for me to bring home. Anyway, it's just like a wool blend. Um, sweater pretty basic again it's like lightweight this one didn't it had like the material tag was cut out um, so I'm not entirely sure but when I ran the comps all the other ones were saying they were a wool it was a wool blend it kind of has like a merino feel to me and then this is Lauren Ralph Lauren it is a lambs wool wool alpaca blend and it is like this open cardigan, open front cardigan and with these stripes, it's like brown and green, very like fall colors and it is long. I mean, real long. And then it has this like Aztec and a print on the back, which is really cool. So I am very excited about this. I think it actually might, might do pretty well. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should look it up. Yeah, this may be the best uh, find of the day, actually. 
So if I text or if I search Ralph Lauren Aztec wool lambs wool alpaca cardigan, there are none listed, but four sold. None are exactly like mine, but similar. Uh, this one is Lauren Ralph Lauren sold for one hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Can you see that right there? See, it's not exact. It's similar. Uh, this one is a Ralph Lauren, $176. And this one is another Lauren Ralph Lauren for a best offer off of $170. Again, not the same, but similar. Uh, this, that same one um, for $199. So... I've also seen some other, like, here's one that's like a wool cardigan Aztec print for $67. What's fun is, you know, when it's unique like this, you know, there's not any other ones like this sold or even listed. I can list it pretty high and see what happens. So it's not in perfect condition. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's, um, you know, there's some pilling on it. There's like little balls of fabric, but there's no stains on it that I could see. No holes. I'll double check, obviously, because I'm not perfect. You've seen throughout the video, but uh, this may be the best, the best find of the day. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is that I found at the Goodwill outlet and let me know, do you go? I, do you have a good like system for finding things? Cause I feel like I watch other people's videos and they're like finding all these like massively amazing things. And you know, I do find a, an occasional gem, but most of it's like, you know, I'll sell between 15 or $20, which is, I'm happy with, uh, but I would love to find more items like this. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. This was a long one. I keep doing that <laughs> with my hauls, but I like to get a lot of things at one time. It's uh, helpful for me in the way I do my business. So. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out another video right here. I'll see you soon.